Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Mr. Abasa Glory. So I want to welcome you here. And if you are new, kindly subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll be notified when other content are dropped. So going straight to what we have today, uh, we'll be talking about the OSCE part of our classes. And in this part of the OSCE, the title of what we'll be talking about is instrumentation. Instrumentation. So, which means that by the time you are giving, uh, or by the time you approach the OSCE table, the first thing you need to look at is look at what you are presented with. So, when you are presented with uh, a, a, a procedure station, the first thing you need to look at is what is the title of what you are doing. And of course, before you do, before you look at anything you are doing, you must be able to greet your examiner, greet your examiner, and have good rapport with them. How are you doing today, man? How what was your night? Greet them. After greeting them, look at your introduce yourself to your examiner. My name is Mr. Abbas Glory. My exam number is this and this and that. After introducing yourself, calling your examining uh, your examination number. The next thing you look at the uh, the procedure station and if you look at this procedure station it's asking us the title is instrumentation so the instruction in this procedure says number one identify the following instrument now in course of identifying the following instrument you are expected to one mention the name of the instrument state their uses and their method of sterilization first the first instruction say identify the following instrument and what are they how do you follow the instruction number one you should mention the name of the instrument state their uses and then state the method of sterilization and then report as you go so these are the pattern or this is the pattern we're going to use while talking about the different instruments so we're going to go straight to talking about the procedure and after the procedure the possible checklist that you will be used to examine you we're going to bring it out and then the possible questions that arise from uh this kind of question or this kind of procedure because it's expected that after you do this procedure station you're going to have question station that's to say You'll be giving some MCQ question after this procedure. So, after listening to this procedure, please kindly wait and look at the checklist and then the the what's it called the questions that follow this kind of procedure. Thank you. Okay, so welcome back. So, on this part of it, we'll be talking about the next checklist called the sterilization of equipment. Talking about the sterilization of equipment. So, so talking about sterilization of equipment simply means they're asking you what are the process of sterilizing this instrument. So it might come in different form of first you identify each of these instruments, what are they used for? And then first identifying them and then talking about their uses will help you in knowing uh, the first step. So first is what is this? So you're going to point at each of them. This is referred to as the, the dissecting forcep, called the dissecting forcep. Now, you discover that it has a sharp, two, two, or two parts of it is very sharp, called it di dissecting forcep, and then we have this as an artery forcep, artery forcep, and then we have this as a bow lifter, called it bow lifter, you can see this is a bow lifter. So this is a bow lifter. This is an uh, artery forceps. This is an artery forceps. And of course, I said this is dissecting forceps. Now, what is dissecting forceps used for? It is used for wound dressing. In case you are doing wound dressing, this can be used for wound dressing. It can also be used for holding tissues. Like tissues together, you could just you could just, I mean, you just try to like hold the thing together. You can just to pick, that is it to pick tissues together. So it is used for wound dressing. It can also be used for holding light tissues, tissues within the body. Now, what about the the artery forceps? The artery forceps is used for clamping tissue. It's used for clamp. Imagine if this is a tissue and I decide to hold it. 
discovered that it, it has is already holding the tissue right so it is used for it is used for holding tissues together clamping bleeding if at all there is a bleeding it can be used to to clamp the blood vessel just imagine doing uh delivering right they want to clamp the cord they can use this to just clamp the cord just to stop bleeding <clears throat> now what about the bow lifter of course the bow lifter is used to lift heavy materials of course maybe after dressing after sterilization they need to lift materials you want to lift them you can just start using this to pick them right this is called the bow lifter you can also use it to carry your bow <clears throat> your, your dressing bow your kidney dish and all of that this can be used to lift them that is their uses so in that define them first like i said this is a bow lifter this is this is dissecting forcep and this is an artery forcep remember their use i said this artery forcep is used for clamping blood vessel or for clamping bleeding site and i said this is used for wound dressing and for holding tissues together so the next question is what is the method of sterilization what is the method of sterilization so remember we talked about artery forcep artery forcep remember we say it is used for clamping now if you remember the it has a saw like teeth it has a saw like teeth so which means that as part of what you do you must ensure after use you soak it in a soapy water you soak it in a soapy water for 15 to 30 minutes now after which you remove a soak in an antiseptic remove and soak in antiseptic for 30 minutes and of course after that you must be able to brush remember it has teeth so which means that some tissues may hang on this teeth what do you do you brush the teeth you ensure you brush the teeth to remove if any debris right you remember you of course use brush to wash the teeth and then what do you do you soak it inside clean water and then you air dry that is you allow it to dry so that is after doing that what you do next you can pack it right into an autoclave autoclave of course is using of heat so what have i said talking about the artery forcep i said first you must be able to after use you must be able to soak it in the soapy water for 15 to 30 minutes you must be able to after soaking you remove it and of course, you soak it inside antiseptic for 30 minutes. And after that, I say, what do you do next? You, you brush the teeth. Ensure you brush the teeth so as to remove any form of debris. And then after brushing, what do you do? You soak it in plain water. Or you can rinse it with plain water. Or rinse it with plain water. After that, what do you do? You can allow it to air dry. That's to allow it to dry or you can put it inside autoclave. That is how you sterilize this. Now, what about the dressing for sep? The same process you use for this, the same process you use for this. The first, after use, soak in a soapy water, antiseptic water, brush the teeth. After brushing the teeth, what do you do next? You can decide to soak in plain water, allow it to air dry, and then, of course, pack it into an autoclave. So what about the bow lifter? Remember we said this is a bow lifter. It is used to lift bowls, right? So how do you do this? How do you, how do you sterilize this? What do you do? You wash soapy water after washing. You rinse, you rinse in a clean water and then place in a container with antiseptic. First, after use, wash with soapy water, rinse with the clean water, and then what do you do? Put it inside an antiseptic, inside a bowl with antiseptic, and then put it in a container. Like I said, clean water after which autoclave can also be used. Put it inside autoclave, all of this cannot be sterilized. Now, after sterilization, what do you do? That's what brings about finishing. So, after they define all of this, in your exam, it's expected that you arrange them back to the way you saw them. Arrange the instrument wash your hand meaning arrange them back to where you saw them doing before use before your procedure that's before using them in your world arrange them back to where you saw them in your unit because personal hygiene is needed 
housekeeping is very important, meaning you want to keep every item where you use them so that in case of next time, you can easily walk there, pick them to reuse. After that, what do you do next? You wash your hand with soap and water, and that is for that. So what have I said in summary? First, we're talking about identification and the process of sterilization of these instruments. So the first thing you need to do is the examiner will judge your appearance, the examiner will judge the way you compose yourself, and the next thing is for you to identify this instrument. Who are they? We said this is an artery forcep, this is a dissecting forcep, and this is a bow lifter. A bow lifter, that dissecting forcep, and then this is an artery forcep. How do we know then? Artery forcep have a rough edge. You see this part of it, right? Is a part where that if you click it, it will click. See that it, it has clicked on itself. So it is used first identify them. After identifying them, the next is talk about their use. What have I said? This is an artery forcep. It is used for clamping. Dissecting forcep. It is used for wound dressing. It's also used to hold light tissue together. What about bow lifter? It is used to lift bow. After sterilization, you don't use, need to use your hand to pick instrument or pick your materials. This can be used to pick whatever you want. Now, how then do we sterilize them is the next step. Because that's what the checklist is asking us. First, I said either this or this. The first thing you do after use is you ensure you put them on soapy water for 15 to 30 minutes. Next, remove and soak in antiseptic, two of them in antiseptic, after which you clean the edge, the teeth, ensure you clean the teeth, each of them. After cleaning the teeth, what do you do? You put them inside fresh water, that's to say plain water. And after that, you uh, dry them, that's to put, put them on a dry surface, surface that is clean and dry. And after, at the end of the day, pack them into a sterilizer or an autoclave, autoclave or sterilizer to sterilize them. Same goes with this. After use, what do you do? You put in the soapy water, rinse in the clean water, allow it to dry, and then put it inside a soapy and uh, antiseptic water, allow it to dry, and then put it inside an autoclave or a sterilizer. So that is for that. After sterilizing them, the next thing is to do housekeeping. What do I mean by housekeeping? Put them back to where you took them from before the procedure so that. In case of next time, somebody else can see them to use. After arranging your equipment at the right place, the next is to wash your hand, wash your hand, dry your hand, and move on. So that is the procedure on how to identify instruments, talk about their use and sterilization. If you find this video very useful, kindly share and subscribe so that others can notify. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. So on this part of it, we'll be talking about the checklist. Let's now review the checklist that you'll be used to, they will be used in scoring you. Now, talking about the checklist, the checklist have a mark of zero and then a half mark and then one mark. It says, which means that the examiner will either score you zero mark, or will give you zero mark, will give you half mark, or will give you one mark. So how is, how are you going to be scored? So the first thing is number one, general. On that general, you're going to be scored based on your appearance and how composed you are, the compartment you bring to the table, how confident you are, how composed you are, you'll be scored. So on that general, you'll be scored you half mark on your appearance and then half mark on your compartment. Now, after that, we move on to the next part, which is the activity. Under the activity, we now have what we call the identification. Under identification, it means that, remember the first rule says, identify the following instrument. What are, going to, what are the things under identification? But I'll mention the name of the instrument. State their uses. And then method of sterilization. So the first thing to score you is identification of the instrument. Meaning, your ability to identify the instrument correctly, you'll be given half mark. Two, your ability to call their names correctly. That's to say, this one is artery forcep, this one is dissecting forcep, this one is a bow lifter. 
you are believed to identify these things you'll be given one mark each Artery forcep one mark dissective forcep one mark and then bow lifter one mark so you are believed to identify them correctly you'll be given one mark each however you are believed to point to each of them correctly as you identify them you'll be given half mark then moving on to the next part of which is the two part of the instruction state their uses so in stating their uses first we have the artery forcep you are believed to know for sure the artery forcep is used for clamping bleeding tissues or stating is used you'll be giving one mark now what about dissecting forcep your ability to your ability to state is used that is used for wood dressing used for holding light tissues you'll be giving one one mark each so also talking about the bow lifter the bow lifter your ability to know this is a bow lifter of course it is used for lifting heavy materials it is for lifting towel from sterilizers ability to state these things will also be given one one mark each and then we we'll move on to talking about the next part of the question method of sterilization now on that method of sterilization first you start with the artery forcep how do you sterilize artery forcep how do you sterilize a bull lifter so method of sterilizing artery forcep and dissecting forcep are the same hence first you must use after you soak in a soapy water for at least 15 to 30 minutes you ability to state that you'll be given one mark and then remove and soak in antiseptic solution for 30 minutes and of course, you move on to talking about brush, use brush to wash the teeth of the instrument and then soak in play on clean water. And then, of course, you have to rinse it. And then after that, air dry in a clean surface. And then pick and pack and then sterilize them. Either you put them in a sterilizer or in, in an autoclave. These are the method of sterilization for artery forcept and dissecting forcept. So your ability to state all of these things one after the other, you will be scored accordingly. And then move on to talking about the bow lifter. Other the bow lifter, how do you wash and sterilize bow lifter? Number one, you wash with soapy water and then you rinse in a clean water and then you place in a container uh, filled with antiseptic solution. And then, of course, you place in a container in a safe container. Place in a container in a safe place or in a safe corner. You are obliged to state all of these. First, you are able to identify the instrument, you'll be scored. The ability to state they are used, you'll be scored. The ability to follow method of sterilization, you also be scored. And after that, the next part you will be scored again is called is what we refer to as finishing. After all of these things, what do you do next? You are able to arrange every instrument appropriately, you'll be scored. And after all this procedure, what do you do next? You must wash your hand. So, for this procedure, you are expected the total mark allocated is 21 marks. So, if you are able to have one mark each in all of these, you, of course, you have to score your 21 over 21. So, these are some of the checklists you are, this, this is the checklist rather you are, you are going to be, they are going to use in scoring you. So, let's look at this over again and then see how we can master some of these things now after this checklist what are the possible questions who, that may arise from this kind of checklist now going forward you're going to see this table see the question from number one down to number uh, six and then from number six then to number 15. i want you to pause this video as you look at have a review of the questions and then look at how the, how the questions and the answers are generated. Thank you and God bless you.